In this video, we'll cover the procedures that will detail the steps necessary to move or migrate installed WSL distribution instances from a Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer to a new or replacement computer running Windows 11 23H2 or 24H2. We will cover export WSL from Windows 10 or Windows 11, installing the WSL infrastructure on Windows 11 23H2 and 24H2, import the WSL distributions into Windows 11, and change the default login if the user is root. On the old computer, where WSL is already installed, while logged in as the user, open a normal PowerShell session and type WSL dash dash list to see the list of currently installed WSL distributions. Shut down all running instances of WSL with the WSL dash dash shutdown command. Export the desired distributions with the command WSL dash dash export distro name path backslash distro name dot tar. In this example, we are exporting Ubuntu 18.04, Ubuntu 24.04, and Kali Linux distributions to the local C temp folder. The exported WSL will be a tarball. We can also export the WSL distributions to a .vhdx file. Once exported, save the tar files to a file share or some other suitable location from where they can be retrieved later. On the new computer running Windows 11 23H2, log in as the user with admin rights, and install the WSL infrastructure without a default distribution, since we will be importing them later. Open an administrative PowerShell session via the Windows terminal and type WSL dash dash install dash dash no dash distribution. For Windows 11 24H2, type WSL dash dash update to install WSL without a default distribution. Reboot when prompted. After the reboot, open a normal terminal session. Admin rights are not required from this point going forward. Use the WSL dash dash import command. In this example, we are importing from a server via UNC path. Depending on the size of the exported distribution, this might take a couple of minutes. When complete, type WSL dash dash list to verify the distributions did import. Sometimes, following an import, the default login user is the root account. Type WSL or WSL dash D distro name to start WSL. If the root account automatically logs in, change it so that the user's WSL account is the default. With the WSL distro instance running, type nano forward slash etc forward slash wsl.conf. Add the lines shown below. Be mindful that the username in this case is the WSL instance username that may or may not match the user's computer or Active Directory username. Once the WSL.conf file is saved, type exit to exit from the WSL instance and type WSL dash dash terminate distro name or WSL dash dash shutdown to terminate all running instances. When their user starts WSL again, his or her chosen WSL username should now be the default. 
I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new, and found it useful. If you have any feedback, corrections, or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and pass it on to others. And I thank you for watching.